How did you see Nick introduce himself? My man came with a bag of swag, a whole NES package bag, big bag too. Open big it, bag. he had pins, lanyards, you know, pictures, Twizzlers, Tootsie Rolls, Snicker bars. He you loaded them up. He what did he give you? Oh, he gave me a bar of black soap, my nigga. My nigga, a bar of black soap? What the fuck does that mean? Hello everyone, before I see you today to do this new YouTube video for Geometry Dash. For this one, I'm going to be positing some 2.2 update predictions off of this massive list I tweeted out on Twitter like a few weeks ago maybe. It goes unnoticed as usual as my, you know, mine is in 2033 while everybody's is in 2023s. So my first prediction for the 2.2 update isn't going to be the update itself, but the side effects of it and also some things about the update itself. So the first one I'm going to be going over is that there will be 10 billion new views for the game as a cumulative effect of 2.2 because the hype is so real now that it was announced for October of this year that if it does well when if so Raptop can just snake us and say like no actually it's gonna be delayed until the end of the year he can do some he can pull some bullshit out like that out of his ass okay but i truly believe that he's actually telling the truth here if he was oj on the court i think he's actually you know not the murderer here but <laughs> but why 10 billion exactly 10 billion there's most likely that amount right now because people keep forgetting that this game right here this four dollar usually four dollar game right here is one of the most popular games on mobile both on ios and android people keep seeming to forget that if you're an american and you go to high school right now you are guaranteed to see at least once in a while once in a good while i'm not saying every day unless you know people who play this game a lot you'll be guaranteed if you're an american and you're in a high school that you would see at least just one person or two a few times each year of just playing the game usually it's the light version you would kind of never see anybody playing the full version because even though it's four dollars it still kind of feels like a hustle which i think is one of the main reasons why it actually got popular it's so cheap but it's so damn good okay which my next point on the list Next on the list is the game reaching 1 billion downloads in total, both accounting for Steam and both iOS and Android downloads from the Play Stores. Now why 1 billion? I'm saying it again that with the 2.2 update, it will garner this revival like on how Minecraft did but it was done with the community of some sort. It's not a good comparison with Minecraft because it was already popular before but it was lesser popularity because of a lot of factors going into it but on 2019 there was just an undeniable revival of the game's content at least okay the game itself i don't know honestly there's a lot of nostalgia back before like 1.9 that's when that's like the big dividing uh line for that game but this is about gd not minecraft i can talk about that later but at a later point 1 billion downloads I'm probably even, for both second and third on the list, I'm probably undershooting the numbers for this, okay? There's probably going to be at least 20 billion new views added onto this game. And maybe 1.5 billion taken into account the new video that RobTob put out almost a month ago. Because <laughs> Jesus Christ, almost a month ago. Just the last sneak peek and for the 10th anniversary video that he put out, which according to him... There was 700 million downloads for this game, which it wouldn't be crazy to say, yeah, a billion's possible. 700 million? That's two US's, okay? Minus all the illegal immigration going on, okay? <laughs> Fourth on the list is going to be this atomic bomb-like race on to upload the new levels out of the update. The first one who does get it and does it the best will get 50 million plus views from it, okay? Most likely it would be botted because nobody has time, time for that shit. It. Though at the same time though, Mega Hack will be broken by this update because Mega Hack was made on this vacuum time of just this game not being updated all that much. So it's gonna break, but I have a feeling that Absolute, with the merit of being sponsored officially by Robtop with the 
whole hacking thing that he has going on, which I know it was started by somebody else, but everybody knows it's by Absolute. Not by him, but it's maintained by him, so I'm just saying that. I have a feeling that he's going to be given the 2.2 update early before anybody else so he can implement his little hacks things here and there. So, no more people who are just using it, not to like hack the game to cheat per se, but we're just using it for the perks of, of just having just all this bullshit get out. Like if I alt tab out of here, I know and I'm safe and not the game crashing or crashing my computer in some, some of the worst cases, okay? Now the reason why I say an atomic bomb like race is because during World War II, there was a race to get an atomic bomb. So whoever has it first will, you know, dictate the ending war conditions you it was between the united states and the soviet union and we all know on who won that one and who sold it too <laughs> at the end after it next on the list is new pedophiles every other week six plus months after the release of 2.2 now why do i have those specific numbers six months and every other week to be safe and save my ass but also it's going to be inevitable this update is going to attract so many new people and bring back so many og creators and players which i don't even think any of them are actual pedophiles but a uh, lots of new kids lots of new kids and lots of grown-ass niggas uh playing this game just because of the update and its popularity and its revival and all that stuff which i will get into a little bit later into this video next on the list rob top becomes a multi-billionaire now, with the given US and Swedish tax laws that are present for Robtop, he's probably not a multi-billionaire, but I but we all know he's a multi-millionaire. We all know that for sure. Cause look at the downloads. What is what is like four times seven hundred million, roughly? That's two point eight billion dollars, okay? Two point eight billion dollars. And since Google is based in the US and he's based in Sweden, it's probably at least one billion or something like that. He's probably not a billionaire, I'm probably very wrong on that, but we all know he's loaded as fuck, okay? But with 2.2, he's gonna become a multi-billionaire. Next on the list is total coverage for 1-3 to three months from the biggest gaming YouTube channels. Now, obviously, I'm not saying total coverage in the literal sense where they direct the entire trajectory of the YouTube channel to be GD-oriented. No, but they will constantly cover it along with other games that they're gonna be playing during those months. And the reason why I'm saying this is because there's going to be a big funny thing that people are going to point out every single time is that this game hasn't been updated since six years and now it is updated and it has all these crazy things now in it. It's like a completely new game. Like the 2.1 to 2.2 paradigm shift is going to be absolutely insane and I can't blame for people saying that this is going to be bad. Like I wish to actually, you know, be in this update for forever because we're so used to this game being so linear that with all these sneak peeks and all these things that rob will show us it is definitely not going to be non-linear after this update and it's going to completely change on how people are going to make levels play levels just think about the game entirely which is the other factor too that will play into all the coverage by all the biggest gaming youtubers on the platform now the next one on the list is a one hour movie will be made in gd before early 2025 now why am i saying one hour and why am i saying before early 2025 one hour is long enough to consider that a video is not a video but it's a movie now and why a movie there's somebody who's going to be ultra autistic who has been playing this game for more than a decade who's going to say like finally i have these more cinematic type of effects to work with in order to make something that can be viewed in a cinema that's what i'm trying to say for the auditory version 2 i'm saying a full legitimate full-length album will be released on gd like <laughs> exclusively on gd that'd be kind of pretty funny just imagine you seeing like the downloads and likes imagine it having like more than some of your biggest artists <laughs> that'd be that would actually be pretty fucking funny to see but the reason why i'm saying it is because besides giving us a completely new alternative way to play this game non-linearly not only is Raptop making us gonna go through a completely paradigm shifting update where there's gonna be non-linear way to play this game but also there's gonna be two very important features that he's gonna add that is gonna make this possible multiple songs in one 
fucking level. And sound effects. Though it is royalty free, somebody's gonna make a song out of this fucking game because he has added reverb, he, he's added some of the most basic sound effects in this game, but it's enough to make somebody say like, yeah, I can make somebody listen to, the, to a fucking song I made, just primarily in this game, make this shit into a doll. Now the next one on the list is that five specific local content creators from the community will blow up to 1 million subscribers because just due to the immense hype of the update but also for the update and the game. I do not know on who it will be but I know for a fact it will be 5 and they're all gonna go to 1 million. Next on the list, your father comes back. Your father has been gone for a very long time to get the, the milk and the cigarettes and when 2.2 comes out He's gonna come back, okay? He's gonna be knocking on your fucking door saying, I'm back. Next on the list, I have that the new update will bring back OG pros, both of creators and players. There's been a lot of pros that said, I will not come back to this game until this fucking game gets an update. Until then, peace out, motherfuckers. And when it does come out, there will be absolutely new masterpieces from the OG creators and just a new demon type that is beyond extreme it isn't even that it's harder than extreme necessarily but it will be something completely different which speaking on extreme demons and different demon difficulties in this update and i think this is one of the earliest tidbits of information that he has actually ever given to us about 2.2 is that the stars will probably be adjusted to their according difficulty because they're all 10 stars right now they're all equal but on 2.2 it will probably be changed extreme demon will probably have like 20 stars you know to give you more of incentive to beat harder fucking levels in this game and easy demon will probably be i don't know maybe 10 and hard demon will be uh let's say 15 let's say medium will be 12 and let's say insane will be 17 why is it so damn uneven i don't know like Raptor can be fucking crazy as fuck and say, do you know what? Extreme Demon, 50 stars. Easy Demon, 10 stars. And everything else in between is like even as fuck with the fives, okay? Next on the list is that GD will develop a legitimate schizo deep lore type of bullshit because it's been six years. What do you think this nigga must have had on his mind for that long amount of time? Probably a lot of bullshit. And this is little weird feeling that I have and he did pull it off with the 10th anniversary video if you just look hard enough and just look somewhere on Twitter there was an ARG from that fucking video okay I have a feeling that he's gonna do some really cool ARG for 2.2 that is gonna involve some real life locations I know for a fact that he's gonna probably put one in Stockholm Sweden because that's his home okay next on the list is that there will be GD private servers of every single version for the update and it will be integrated into the game. Now this is something that is obviously stupid, but it is something that I wanted for a different game called Fortnite. It's not unknown, I don't know why I said it like that way, but what I'm saying is that you can access different versions of the game, so you can experience like well, the 1.0 type of style, as I wanted with Fortnite with like season three, the classic fucking seasons where you didn't have any dumb bullshit in it. And the reason why I have this as a prediction is because there's already private servers that do exactly what I say. 1.9, there's 2.2, because 1.9, everybody has a nostalgia boner for that. And 2.2 is because it's the new update. Next on the list is that there will be an in-game voice chat for multiplayer. Yeah, has anybody forgotten that we're gonna get multiplayer for this fucking update? This update's gonna be fucking insane. But I have a feeling that Raptop's kinda gonna be a troll and just add in in-game voice chat. So you can imagine all the nine-year-olds that are gonna be playing this fucking game 
while being while being saying like, "Ha, oh, bitch, I fucking beat the level and you didn't by some 22 year old man." <laughs> that'd be that'd be funny as shit. Last on the list is that LeBron James will be seen playing the game. Now, why LeBron James exactly, bro? My nigga, my nigga, soldier boy plays with craze and the pedophile on Among Us. Anything is possible at this point, okay? Blue, 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 blue. It may be brown though. It might Navigation. be brown though. It could have nah, been nah, brown. Nah, nah, nah. Don't, don't. I didn't see blue. Who blue. jumped in advance? Bro. Listen, bro, listen to me, crazy. What was you thinking when you jumped in that vent? Okay, get him out of here. He ain't got nothing to say. Get him out of here. <laughs> get him out of here. I saw you jump in that vent, my brother. You jumped in that motherfucking vent like motherfucking Master Splinter off Ninja Turtles Part 3, nigga. You jumped in that motherfucking vent. Get him out of here. You jumped in that vent like a motherfucking dust bunny, nigga. Get him the fuck out of here. Nigga, you jumped in that vent. Like, the sky's the limit. I can't think of any other predictions other than the listed ones right here. But anything is possible for this update. And there's going to be probably some things that I am leaving out that you probably have in your mind. So, you know, comment down below what kind of predictions that you that you have for this game. And until next time, have yourself a good damn one. And thank you for watching this video. I'm grateful for that. If you made it to the end.